I do not like it. Oh dear, not everyone likes it. Do you think Marion can change their minds? Because feta cheese is one of the main ingredients in his recipe. You'll also need mushrooms, yellow pepper, chopped tomatoes, paprika, dried oregano, dried thyme, black pepper, and eggs. First, I'm gonna break up some mushrooms. That's it. Just break and tear the mushrooms into pieces. The best cook in my family is my grandma. My mum and dad and grandma come from Bulgaria. Have you been there, Marion? I've been on holiday to Bulgaria. There were lots of great beaches. Put the torn mushrooms into a bowl. That's it. Now it's time to break up my pepper. Push and pull apart a yellow pepper, like this, to take out the seeds. Then, tear it into small pieces. I really hope my friends like this recipe. Let's hope so. Put the pepper into the bowl with the mushrooms. And now I'm going to start seasoning these tomatoes using paprika. Then, add dried oregano, dried thyme, and a few twists of black pepper. One, two, three, four, five. Mix it, mix it, mix it. Now it's time for my special ingredient. And you know what that is, don't you? It's feta cheese. Feta is a kind of cheese that is usually made from the milk of sheep or goats. It was invented a very long time ago by the people of ancient Greece. The milk is separated into solid curds and runny whey. To make the cheese, the curds are squashed together and drained to get rid of any leftover whey. This is cut up, sprinkled with salt and is then ready to eat. Carefully cut the feta cheese into smaller pieces so you can crumble it up with your hands. It's lovely and crumbly. That's it. Add the crumbled feta to the bowl of vegetables and mix it, mix it, mix it. What's next, Marion? I'm going to put my tomatoes in my special Bulgarian pots. Marion is using pots that come from...